Greetings everybody and welcome to the next episode of Sky Factory 3. Hope you are well. Welcome to the world. We've expanded a little. As you can see, the monolith in the background has changed. Uh, reason being is I experimented with a few passive spawners and I was just not getting very much at all. So I decided to step it up a bit. It should be higher than this, but for now I've done it like this. Is that a witch? It is. Let's just uh, boom, kill her. Because otherwise she will just uh, bounce up and down forever healing herself. So what have we got here? Well, we've got a spawner. If we just go at the top. I shall show you. On the top here, we have behind here, that's the back wall. We have two areas here going the full length and width of this. And then we have a two wide water stream here, which feeds down to the hole at the bottom. In the bottom, we've got some wooden spikes, which will drop them down to half a heart. So I can just whap them with one of these. Uh, I think there's a compressed creeper in here. Which should, yeah, there you go. Compressed creepers are literally one, nine creepers in one. Always fun in games, you hit them. As soon as they die, they explode into more creepers. Always fun. Oof. Oof. And yeah, so they drop down to half a heart and I can just smash them with one foul swoop. And as you can see, we've got quite a lot of goodies here at the moment. Let's just drop some of this stuff in here. It's good that we're getting witches because we can finally get some good stuff. So we're also getting goodie bags. So let's do the right thing. Let's have a look at some goodie bags. And we have spawn chicken. Ooh, we can get eggs finally. Put them in here. As you can see, I've got quite a few in here. I've got some rares, uncommons and commons. So I'm just going to own one of each to begin with. I know you can combine them. So the commons can make uncommons, which can make rares, which can make epics and then legendaries, I believe, off the top of my head. So let's start with that. But the thing is, if we go, you could think, oh, why don't you just go straight to the legendaries? Well, we might actually need some of the good stuff that's in here. Because if you look at what they can give you on the common ones, we could be doing with some of these things. You know, we've got acacia saplings, dark oak, fish. Barley, all kinds of weird stuff. We've got these dreaded chance cubes again. But yeah. You know, so you've got some quite good stuff there. Whereas if you oh sorry, and then the next page. Whereas if you go up to uncommon and you have a look at that, you can start to see we start to ramp up a little bit. We get bizarre things uh, that we may not be so useful to as early dolls. Like Pungy sticks. Um and they should be, yeah. Like this slime sling, which I am never going to use in a sky world, because that will catapult you off. Uh, but yeah, so you can get some good stuff early doors. I'm going to try a few of these and see what we get. Useless. I've got a leather hat. Great. Uh, pop that on. Hmm. That's a leather hat. An uncommon. Mysterious potions. Enriched iron. And a rare. Blood slime and a purple slime sapling, which isn't too bad, I suppose. I suppose it's not too bad at all. Let's do uh, another few of these. Let's just pop them up there. Still don't know what these mysterious portions do. I'm sure that you can. What are the uses on these? Unique properties. No one knows what happened. Well, you've got to drink it. Joy. Yeah, joy. Is that the same? Yet. So I've just got to drink it. Let's, uh, yes, let's not do that yet. Let's start with the common. Ooh, some good as jungle saplings. That's good. Do with that. Uncommon. A brick. Yeah. And a lava bucket and a storage upgrade. Uh, not too bad. They're not too bad. Go and uh, pop them in here. And um, we'll store this nonsense and then we'll move on move on because we need to do things today throw these hideous things in here for now jungle sapling yeah, i might use i will use i know i definitely will use so what do we need to do well we need to make a cobble generator so let's pop in here and we've got cobble 
And we need one of these fellas here. So we can generate cobble per tick. Is what we need to do. We are missing water and glass, I believe. Although I have water there, so I don't know why it's saying that we don't have it. Just try. Still missing items. No, there we go. Yay, cobblestone generator. Now, I think you can use these with a hopper. So if I... Actually, have I got enough iron to make a hopper? Uh, no, I haven't. I think you need five. Yes, you need five for that. So for now, I'll just pop this down here. Like so. And that will... There's no UI to it, but if you uh, shift, right click, it tells you how many cobblestone there is in there. As you can see, it slowly makes them. This four in there now, so I can right click that and they pop in and there it goes back to one. So the idea is to get a few of these, maybe two or three, and then pop some hoppers underneath. Have a chain of hoppers over to a chest, so that'll continually make uh, cobblestone. But don't have to deal with sitting here gnawing at this little block here which can be quite annoying rather annoying pop that in there so what else have we got well we've got a little garden area over here obviously with me killing mobs in that side i've been getting some some wheat and some potatoes everybody loves a potato uh, that was a poisonous one no it wasn't so yeah i'm making some wheat and potatoes i've got a little watering can over there which speeds them up because they are cruelly slow uh, but I'm sure that we'll find some way of automating this at some point I don't know if we have agri-craft in here let's have a look uh, agri-craft no do we, do we not have it we have mystical agriculture which I'm sure is like the old Minicio uh the thing that we had before looking at this yeah Ooh, these look quite neat how can you get a stone crop i'm guessing this is what they look like when they grow so yes so we've got the potatoes popping these in here for now at least we have some more crops we don't have to keep chopping these down for apples and things so what else do we need to do today? Well, let's have a look at the achievement book. I think we can start to move to the Stone Age now. And, oh, make a Tinker's Construct tools from Bone or Flint. Let's, let's crack a doodle on with that one. Let's pop that in there. So we are going to need, uh, let's just do an at Tinker's, that might help. Pop that in here. So we need to make the basic uh, stencil table. Let's make a stencil. Make a few of these. We'll need those. Then we need to make a stencil table. Like a sole. And then a tool table. Where is it? Stencil part builder. Uh, we could do a pattern chest as well, I suppose. In one of those. And get those back. And a part builder. Make sure we can get a crafting station. Nice and simply by dropping one of those in there. What else do we need? Part builder. Uh, that was all part builder. Part chest. I think we've got one of them. Oh no, we've got a pattern chest. Oh, I didn't know you could do a part chest. You learn something every day. Oh, it's got a tripwire hook. It have to be a trap chest? No, it can be a normal chest. Okie dokie. Let's get a couple of those. That in. And... Chest again, yes. Have one of them. And we need... Tool station, is it? Well, that's going to take that. Don't want that to take that. 
Let's just grab some wood from down here. Yes, let's have some of that. Oof. Make some of that. Quick crafting table. Like so. And where is it gone? Tool station. There we go. We now have the required pieces to make a Tinker's Tool area. I'll just bob this down across the road from the uh, cobble generator at the moment. I will probably make a proper area out of this. I'll probably move the trees into an opposite wing like this on this side, which is why I've got this little gap here to remind me that's where I need to go. I can put the trees over there so I can start using this area a little bit more sensibly. Right now it's just uh, practicality. So I'll start with a crafting station. And no, I don't actually. I'll start with a stencil table and then a pattern chest and then a part builder and then a crafting station and then a tool station. So where let's put this like this. That's how it's going to lay out. Because to me, that's more logical way of doing things. Sure if I should put it right next to the edge. Just wondering if you get things out, it might fly off the edge. Let's do that. That. In fact, you could put that on top of there. Let's do that. Is it? Ooh, nearly flew off the edge. Pop that up there. And then part builder. Pop the part chest on top as well. And then the crafting station, and then the tool station. That way I should be able to pop into the part builder, stencil and tool station all from this one area. I can go in there as well. Oh, I can go in there. But you can access them all from here in the new setup, which is rather funky. So what do we need to do? Let's have a look at the achievement. We need to make a Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. Well, we have a lot of bone. But how much flint do we have? So I'm guessing flint might be better than bone. We have 21. You shall do. You're a winner. Quickly grab some cobble while I'm here. 32. I shall have that. I got it. Oh, how, how do I... How do I just get the cobble from there? Oh, I have them. Right. Okay, so we're going to need to make a stencil, we're going to need to make, what is it we need to make again? Tinker's Construct Tools, so let's make a, let's make a sword, because we use a sword quite a lot. So that would be, let's pop these in here, that's a tough tool rod, so large sword blade, so what kind of sword are we going to make? Let's have a look at tool station. What options do we have? We have broadsword, longsword, or the rapier. Uh, lunge, uh, sweep attacks. That'll do. I know it's a slower one. So we need a tool rod, a guard, and a blade. So why don't I just do it all for me? Let's make life easier. We made, we need a tool rod. And then we need this one. Wide guard, is it? Let's just double check. The wide guard looks kind of wiggly. It looks like that one. Take a wide guard and then we want... Look. The blade. I think is this one sword blade. I think that's it. So we go to the part builder. Now, if we pop one of these in, there you go. We get that durability 150. We can take that. Then we need this, and we need this. Let's take one of those out. 
like so. Now if we go into the pattern chest, we should be able to just pop those in there. Can we reference those from a stencil table? No, we can't. That's interesting. I wonder if you have to duper it in a line. So now we have that. Let's go to the tool station here and pop these sections in and we get a flint broadsword. Look at that. It's clumsy, uh, 4.9 attack, so it's actually less than the stone sword. We'll still use the stone sword until that runs out and then we'll start using this because it will level up. But we've done that. So we've made a tool from bone or flint, heat a crucible with a torch, uh, insert stones, cobbles to make lava. We have done that because we used that lava just to make this cobble generator right here. Which I think can only store 32 in there. Looking at that is not good. 32 pops up quite quickly. That's doing quite well. Getting quite a lot of cobblestone out of that. Uh, yeah, just need to keep remember coming down and then clicking that fella. Ooh, what do we have in here? Keep having to pop down because it's a slow drop. There's no automated uh, pistons or water drops in there. There is a water channel that they fall into and it's got uh, trap doors on the edge. So they believe it's uh, a walkable platform. So they just walk off the edge, but they have to walk off the edge. So in order to do that, you need as many spawn spaces as possible. So they end up pushing each other off the edge and into the water. So let's just pop all them in there and pop the bag in there. Back while we're at it, let's grab another three. Have a look at them. So we've got the common paper and a dark oak. See what I mean? You keep getting the good stuff early. Uh, redstone too bad and iron helmet iron horse diamantine crystal hmm let's get rid of the leather hat that's it proper iron in there we'll keep popping down every now and again and uh, opening some loot bags see how we go let's get that while we're here I got it I got it. No. How do I just quickly get this out of here? I have. It doesn't really tell you how to do it. I think it's just. Just left click. Yeah. Left click. It says I've got eight in there. Is it shift left click? Hello? Is it. No, it's. Right click. So shift right click gets tells you how much there's in and right click just pulls the amount out. I see. Right, so I need to go and right click. Now I know. Now I am wise. To a degree. Let's throw those in there. Let's put the dark oak sapling over here. Let's grab that one. Put the dark oak there. Rather handy. It's nice nice building material is dark oak and throw. I need some more of these. really need to sort this out. It's full of rubbish at the moment. There are probably things I can get rid of, although I'm not quite sure yet. I think these can move. These can definitely move over here to this area. Yo. So what else do we need to do? So we've done that and we've built a cobblestone generator. So yay. We're moving on to the stone edge. Make a dark room 25 blocks away from your base for spawning mobs and obtaining loot. I point you to exhibit one. Hmm. I think we've done that one. Make a field of grass 25 blocks away from your base for spawning animals. Uh, that's to do. Uh, I don't know how we're going to make grass seeds. I'm sure we can get grass seeds from sifting dirt. What else have we got? Build a second layer to your island. Make an obsidian. So I'll make a tinker's construct smeltery. Upgrade that. Automate your cobble. Yeah. 
upgrade your mob form to kill monsters automatically. It's kind of doing that, but not as automatically as I think that means. What else have we got? Enchanter Sieve Mesh. Yeah, well, I've made a watering can, so I can take that. Fair farming space for several crops. Done that. I'm moving on at a rate of knots here. Uh, yeah, none of the others though. Right, so I'll have a play with this and I shall be right back once I've uh, sat here and clicked on this for God knows how many times. Uh, and done some croppage over here. Nice and simple croppage. Have some of that. Thank you. And that. And, and that. Thank you. Mm. So I'll be right back. So there's been plenty of that to the point where I'm able to uh, make a couple of pistons and create a compacting draw. Uh, you've probably seen this before. Uh, simple thing, pistons, stone, iron and a basic draw gives you one of these. The reason I want to make one of these is... What does that do? Bit draw, alright. Oh yeah, I forgot this place has bits. Yeah. Uh, what I want to do is, rather than just have this chest, I'd rather have it going into this compacting drawer so it can compact up. I'm not sure if it works with a hopper, but let's give it a try. It does! Happy days! So that'll feed in there and that'll give me normal cobble, uh, compressed and double compressed, which is a lot easier because then I can throw all my cobble in there and I don't have to have it hanging around outside in chests nice and neat yes Ooh, a bit dark but how dark it was so yeah that's gonna chug along nicely now and uh, ooh, we got some uh, somebody down here just finish off this episode by slice and dice better slice and dice on oh, miss kitty time for you to leave the good thing is if you do one of these mob areas and you don't do the blocks at the side you can nip in here and the uh, you can get the objects some of those that are stuck in there Come on. and you bit of wild and so yeah uh, it's been been rather eventful starting to pick up now we're starting to move at a small pace uh, it's not as dull as it used to be when you, you sat here just watering dirt. So now we're going to get some cobble in there. I'll get some of this uh, cooked up. We'll start changing some of the area. Brighten it up a bit. I shall put the tree farm over this side. Uh, and yeah, I think that, that's, that's where we'll leave it for this episode. So thank you for stopping with me until the end. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And as always, see you on the flip side. Much love.